born. Now, who could forget Endel? He's the golden Labrador we featured on South Today last year. He was voted Dog of the Millennium for his devotion to his owner, Alan Parton. Well, tonight we can tell a story which not only justifies that title, it surpasses it. And I'm delighted to say that both Alan and Endel are here with me in the studio. Before we come to that remarkable story, Alan, just remind us some of the extraordinary things that Endel does for you on a daily basis. Uh, from getting the covers back uh, of the bed, pulling my legs out of bed, bringing the wheelchair, helping me get dressed in the morning, getting stuff out of cupboards to, to, to help, uh, fetching things I can't reach, things I've lost because of my memory problems. Even if I don't know the name of the item, I can sign him by rubbing the side of my face. <laughs> means electric razor, he'll run upstairs and find it for me. When we go out, he can operate traffic lights, uh, uh, get the posts, the papers, uh, pick stuff off a supermarket shelf and load, them, uh, load the basket for me and then pays at the checkout when we go out. Uh, he constantly monitors my environment and if something drops down, he'll pick it up. If my leg falls off the wheelchair, he'll put he's it back amazing, on me. He's amazing, isn't he? He is. I mean, no wonder he's Dog of the Millennium. But this, I mean, this story over the weekend, I mean, you, it could have been much nastier, actually, than, than it was, really, because something awful happened to you. Yes. I, I was, it was, I was uh, at uh, going up to Crufts to the, uh, to the NEC, and it was while we were staying the night in the, the hotel before that a reversing car knocked me out of my wheelchair. And it was then Endel was able to put me in the recovery position, despite the fact he was, he was there at the incident uh, and, and supposedly shocked himself, I suppose. But he put me in the recovery position. He found my phone that had jettisoned off somewhere into the car park. He brought it to me, insisted I have it. And then he got my wheelchair blanket from underneath my wheelchair. And he barked for help and uh, kept barking and went to the hotel door to bark for help. And, and eventually help came. Yes, it thanks did. Thanks to him. Look, what we've done is actually uh, reconstruct this, haven't we, in we, some way, yes. to show, I mean, to prove, obviously, that Endel can do this. So let's just have a quick look at what happens here. Mm. Now, here he comes. Yes. Talk us uh, through he's, it. He'll come through. He'll, he grabs hold of my coat to roll me over into the recovery position. I mean, um, you, you, I mean that's, he's got to be a strong dog, yes. dog to do that. He then let, will find my phone, and he will insist on my phone actually being pushed right and into And that's it. why he barks? Yes. He, he insists I take that phone and he doesn't give up and it was that on the, the evening that brought me round that was the thing I was conscious of was this constant insistence of the phone and then he went and got my wheelchair blanket from underneath the wheelchair and, and brought it to me and, and the incredible thing the wheelchair was on its side so nothing was and is he are you giving him commands would you give him commands no 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 he instinctively, he instinctively knows to but all the dogs on the program are taught to be problem solvers uh, that they're not obedient dogs they are t taught to problem solve in any environment and this is what Endel did incredible isn't he absolutely incredible I mean he's so invaluable to you, isn't he? He is. I think there's a, a major biblical misconception that uh, guardian angels come with two legs. Well, in my case, <laughs> mine comes with four. And he is a lifesaver. He found me a long time ago in a pit of despair and dragged me from that. And as I've always said to people, he's never stopped dragging. And he's only four. That's, That's right. what I'm amazed. I mean, you would have think that with so much experience, he'd be a much older. Uh, yeah, I mean, but every day he learns something new. And t we just look forward tomorrow. Uh, He's taught me to live, laugh, uh, life again. He's taken away the hurt, the sadness and the pain. And He's uh, very special. Very, very special. I know that he can speak, because he did this yes, last Endel, time. Will he speak? Endel, you're going to speak. Endel, bark. <laughs> He's bark. <laughs> you say bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Good Alan boy. Endel. Thanks a lot. That's Good wonderful. Boy. Oh, wonderful. Now, it's also been a wonderful day for the cricket and the South. Here. What do you think of the pile? Well, I think 